150 days ago, a ship set sail on a historic voyage from Toronto, and today the Canada C3 expedition reached its final destination in Victoria. It was a signature project for Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation. The vessel is called the Polar Prince, a research icebreaker that left port back in June, and it traveled to the Maritimes before sailing through the Northwest Passage and finishing in British Columbia. So Canadians of various backgrounds boarded the ship and visited with communities along the way. And Canadian actor and comedian Sean Majumder was aboard the ship for part of that journey in the Arctic, and he joins us now via Skype. Sean, thank you again for joining us. So how did you come to join the journey? Let's start with that. Well, um, you know, I was honored to be asked, actually. Uh, that's one of the perks of being on the CBC uh, from time to time, is they ask us to be a part of some of these kinds of projects. And at first, I wasn't quite sure what it was. But then as soon as someone said, well, do you want to be on this ship that goes from coast to coast to coast? I said, well, I was kind of busy. Uh, we got some work to do. But then they were like, no, no, it's just one leg. Uh, and I agreed to it immediately. And uh, jumped on board as one of the participants for leg six. And uh, it was truly one of the most transformative, most important uh, events and experiences I've had in my life as a Canadian. And you know, Sean, we were just uh, showing some images of people who you were speaking to along the way, people who you got to meet. So what was this experience like and who did you get to meet? What did they tell you? We, you know, I think, I think at first when you hear about, oh, it's a ship and you're gonna go see the beautiful coastland, that was a really important part, but I think what I took away from it the most was, uh, you know, were my conversations that I had uh, around the idea of truth and reconciliation. I think, you know, this country is is has still a ways to go to have that conversation and get to some solutions. And you know, my bunkmate was Nathan Obed, who is the uh, leader of the ITK of the Inuit people. And at first, I was like, I mean, he looks so young. And when we met in Nain, I was like, oh, isn't that sweet? There, a, a young kid from Nain who, you know, is uh, getting bunked with a guy from YTV back in the day. He's going to have some nice time. Anyway, it turns out he's the king of the Inuit people. And I learned so much from him. And I learned so much about, you know, uh, what the conversation needs to be when it comes to truth and reconciliation. And you know, my biggest takeaway was we need to listen more instead of having these solutions. Everybody has these things to say about what the solutions are instead of just stopping and listening. So, so Natan was a big influential person. You know, Jeff Green is the man who put it all together. He's incredible. He just did his speech here and people went crazy. Uh, so the vision is strong and, and I'm a much better Canadian now uh, after being on this ship. And I'm here today covering it for 22 minutes so you can see a piece next week or in a week and a half depending on how we all it all comes together and you know you talked a little bit there about uh, what you learned from this journey and we actually got a chance to talk with Jeff Green as well and he said it was such an overwhelming experience and that so much was accomplished what would you say was accomplished uh, by taking this journey and for you it was one leg but we assume that something was accomplished <laughs> Oh, absolutely. I think what a better way to connect Canada, you know, via coast to coast to coast. Um, and I think, you know, I talked to Jeff earlier today, too. And one of the things that he said was, yes, this is the end of the physical journey, but it really should be just the beginning of what this thing has started. And, and, and you know, I think we're a young country, you know, in the colonial concept of it all. We're only 150 years is not that old. My dad comes from India, you know, 5,000 year old cultures. This land, what Canada is and how it was shaped is so much older. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years, uh, this land has been kind of occupied. And we need to understand that if, you're, if, you're, if your history goes back to 150 years and that's it, then you're missing a huge part of, of our culture. So what I think we need to do via this, this journey is continue those conversations. There's a long way to go yet, but you know, uh, when you put on a ship with nowhere to go and you're in a room with people who may think differently than you, you get to some pretty amazing conversations. So the conversation needs to keep going. And, and yes, it's a beautiful country. We know that. And uh, yes, we're diverse, but this is a conversation that's one of the most important. It's one of the 
the the things that we're we're we still have a ways to go and uh, but i'm pretty confident after this we'll get there well sean it's always a pleasure to have you on that is canadian actor and comedian sean majumder and he was aboard the c3 for a portion of their journey stay with us right here on cbc news network